that in the cases of vascular dementia, we have to control the vascular risk factors. And if we do that, we may not progress as much. There are dementias with fluid buildup in the brain, normal pressure hydrocephalus. Uh, we can improve those conditions, so we have to look for those. There are dementias associated with vitamin deficiencies. Those can be replenished, thyroid disorders. There are dementias associated with uh, chemical imbalances or immunological imbalances, paraneoplastic, related to neoplasm or immune conditions. Those dementias have a different presentation. They are more rapid, but they have to be thought of to be treated. And then, uh, then you have different types of dementias associated with Parkinsonism or Parkinson's disease or Lewy body dementia. They have a different clinical picture and different rate of progression. In a fatalistic way, what difference does it make? If it is not one of the treatable types, the immune types, why do we care? We care because the prognosis may be different. Understanding that Lewy body dementia may have more behavioral and physical problems than Alzheimer's dementia is important for the family so they can anticipate those changes and prepare themselves for it.